One of the most unique events you can experience in astronomy is a total solar eclipse. As the moon completely blocks the sun, it creates what looks like a hole in the sky for several minutes, even allowing some bright stars and planets to be visible during the day. I'm Michael Martin and welcome to Late Night Astronomy, your guide to the best objects, events, and equipment to help you explore the heavens above. Today we're going to talk about everything you need to know to get the best experience possible with the great North American total solar eclipse coming up. The first thing to talk about for any type of solar eclipse is safety. During this event, the moon moves in between the earth and the sun, creating a partial eclipse for many and a zone of totality for some where the moon completely blocks the sun for a few minutes along a specific path. Never view the sun at any time, even during a partial solar eclipse with the vast majority of the sun being covered without wearing a pair of solar glasses. The only time you can take off the solar glasses is right after totality hits if you find yourself in that specific path. Just be sure to use an app like Sky Safari to accurately know how long totality will last and put them back on right before totality ends. Be sure to buy a pair of CE and ISO certified solar glasses, like the pair I own from Rainbow Symphony. If you have an old pair of solar glasses from a previous eclipse, make sure they don't have an expiration date on them, that they're not warped, damaged, or scratched in any way. For those of you looking to go the extra mile with this solar eclipse, you could look to buy a safe solar telescope. I own the Celestron Eclipse Smart 50mm Solar Telescope, and it's one of the more affordable options to get started with safe views of the sun to track sunspots or safely view parts of this eclipse. I'll be sure to leave a link to these products in the description below, and remember that the earlier you buy them, the more likely you are to save a little bit of money as we get closer to this major event. As its name suggests, the Great North American Total Solar Eclipse makes its way through parts of Mexico, the United States, and Canada on April 8th, 2024. Most people in North America not in the path of totality will still be able to experience an impressive partial solar eclipse as well that day. The ultimate experience, however, is getting to see the moon completely cover the sun for a few minutes, and it's best to try to get as close to the center of that zone as you can. Being closer to the center of the totality zone can add a minute or two to your experience. If you don't find yourself near the path of totality, make your plans as soon as possible for where you hope to stay. It'll only get more difficult to book something and prices will only go up as we approach this event. For the 2017 Great North American Total Solar Eclipse, I did not plan ahead and I found myself sleeping in my car in a parking lot the night before the event occurred near Madisonville, Tennessee. It was not the best night of sleep I ever got, but the next day I found a public park where there was an event going on for the eclipse and I had a wonderful time, but I was quite exhausted. Don't make the mistake I made. Plan now, plan ahead, you'll save some money and you'll get a little more sleep as well. I'll include some links in the description below to help you figure out where the nearest point of totality will be to you, and also consider using apps like Sky Safari to know the exact second when totality will hit if you find yourself in its path. Few things in astronomy compare to the experience that you will have from this event on April 8th, 2024. And if you follow these tips, you'll hopefully find yourself in the right spot for totality, save a little bit of money, and keep your eyesight along the way. If you've enjoyed this video, please like it and consider subscribing to this channel to join our growing community. But most importantly, let me know about your questions and plans for the Great North American Total Solar Eclipse in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for your continued support and clear skies from late night astronomy.